Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I'm back doing a very special video um, that's very close to my heart and is very personal to me. Um, a year ago on October 23rd, 2014, I wrote a love letter to myself. Um, this love letter changed my life, uh, mainly because I started to look at myself differently and I felt that the energy changed. I actually felt very, very strongly what was said in the love letter to myself. So it was a very practical application of that, you know, age old saying, love yourself, you should love thyself. Um, and so for those of you who struggle with self esteem or with feeling good, um, or with not really understanding what it means to love yourself, I encourage you to write yourself a love letter. Um, it doesn't have to be on any kind of special paper. It just has to be heartfelt and personal. And um, I recommend keeping it someplace where you can read it, you know, anytime where you feel down or you feel sad or you feel like, you know, you need kind of a shoulder to cry on and nobody's there for you. Um, you know, I was very low at that time and um, I didn't have a shoulder to cry on at that time. And so uh, it changed the energy for me. And I hope that by me reading it to you, um, it will change the energy for you too. And you'll be inspired by it. The whole point is to feel inspired. And never fear, I am going to be back doing my regular tarot readings, um, of course. But I just want to do this special video. I'm also going to do another one doing, I have a special luck letter that I wrote to myself as well. And I'm going to read that in a separate video. So to follow this one. So this one, um, is, um, you know, I'm going to show you what I did with my love letter. I put it in, I have this kind of blank sketchbook and I taped it into, um, the sketchbook like this. And, um, it was written on 10, 23, 14 on a solar eclipse. Um, and because it's almost exactly a year later, I wanted to kind of the anniversary of this. I wanted to share this. Um, so the card I actually bought when I was at my favorite deli in Virginia, um, when I was living there and it says hope is always there, uh, on the card. Okay. And like I said, you don't have to write it on any special paper. It just needs to be heartfelt. And I imagined when I wrote it that I was reading it. I was writing it to like my very best friend in the whole world. Okay. So I'm just going to read it to you. And on the inside, it says, you're going to get through this sending love. Okay. That's what the original card said. My letter says, dear Beth, wow, it has been a really rough year for you. You've had an almost impossible struggle with finding a home of your own, just a sweet place to rest your head and your heart with people who love you. That's all you've wanted. The universe has challenged you to so many tests, 16 moves and counting. That's quite a record. The thing you need to remember is that you've passed every single test. You've raised your vibration with every move. You've grown into a better person with so much light and love to share with the world. You are an incredible woman and I respect you and love you so much for who you are, for who you have become and how far you had to go to become this amazing spiritual person with so much love in her heart. Only you know how many tears you have cried, but I know each one of those tears has made you brighter than the sun, and I know you are God's gift to the world, my angel. Whenever you are down, I am here for you. You are never alone. I wrap my arms around you in your blanket when you are struggling, and I send you love every day. One day, you will see how much I love you when a rich and handsome rancher dude waltzes his way into your life, sweeps you off your feet, loves and cherishes you as much as I do. You deserve to be happy. You deserve all the love in the world. You deserve a man who's able to appreciate you as much as I do and who is loyal, faithful, trustworthy, and who makes you smile and laugh every day. This man will bring you three beautiful children and you will love them more than you've ever loved anyone. And you are worthy of them. They love you too. I know it may seem like you are under a ton of pressure, but you will succeed in all that you do, whether you win or lose, because I have faith in you. I admire your courage and your strength, your thoughtfulness, and the amount of time and energy you put into your friendships, as well as your clients. Today is a solar eclipse. It's time you knew how much I love you, how much more life you have to live. I never want you to give up. 
I believe you will win and I believe you deserve the highest value for your highest good or something much better. You will also get through your surgery no sweat because I will be there holding your hand the whole time. You will make uh, being pregnant look easy. I will be there to guide you intuitively and to protect you. You have nothing to fear and everything to look forward to. This always gets me. This letter always gets me. Uh, it says, Grandma loves you and Grandpa too. Francis, your rancher, and the boys love you so much. I send you lots of love, big hugs, big kisses, angel blessings, unicorns, fairies, and magic. Hugs and kisses, love, bye. So it's an, it's an emotional letter, obviously. When I wrote it, it was an emotional time. Um, and um, it's been, you know, quite an inspiration to a lot of people. And I hope it inspires you in some way. And, um, you know, let me know what you think. And um, let me know, you know, if you decide to write a love letter to yourself and how you feel afterwards. Because I think um, you'll feel so much different. And even now, I feel like the angels are around me and I feel so, like, strong about it that I think it's really going to help you. Um, and I feel like it can help a lot of other people too. So don't forget to share it. Um, you know, share your... And I'm not talking about this video. I mean, share your love letter with other people um, and have other pe encourage other people to write themselves a love letter because we do for so much for so many people. We love others, but we forget to love ourselves and we forget to show up for ourselves and forget to be there for ourselves. And for those of you who are really hard on yourself, this is, this is a time where it's like giving yourself a hug, you know, um, when you need it. And there's so many people out there who Either they don't have a support system they need, whether it's friends or whether it's family or whether they just live kind of in an isolated place. Um, it's one of those things where it makes a difference um, in, in the energy and how you feel uh, after you write it and after you read it and share it with people. So um, again, I hope it inspires you and let me know what you think. And I wish you all the best and I'm going to send you big hugs like I always do. Big hugs, big kisses, and I will talk to you guys again soon. I wish you guys all the best. Okay, take care.